Welcome to Wagon Train Wednesdays, presented by The Archway. Stephen H. L. Meek was a mountain man, fur trapper, wagon train guide, and gold miner in the American West beginning in 1831. As you might imagine, he had plenty of stories and tall tales to tell. One of our greeters takes on the trappings and character of Meek at The Archway. You may have a chance to meet him when you come for a visit. Today, he'll share a story of life on the frontier. Well, howdy there. They've asked me to introduce myself right out. I reckon I can do that. My name is Stephen Hall Meek. That's what my ma named me. Out here where I'm speaking, them fellers just call me Crazy Meek. I'm a mountain man. I come out here with my brother. His name was Joseph Meek. We was all out here trapping beaver back in the 1820s. That's when the tr beaver trade was doing real good, the fur trade was. They took them pelts, took the fur off of them, made beaver felt fur hats out of them, topper hats. Them men was awful popular with them. We come out here trapping in the streams. I liked them Platte River Valley myself. It was gentle. There seemed to be a lot of beaver out here. But you know, they got to where them pioneers started coming in here, wagons and the like, and that ruined the country through here, plowed up the prairie, ruined the creeks. So me and my brother, we went out further west. A little feller out there I met, he trained me on how to be making a, got a lot of money trapping beaver. His name was John Coulter. Don't know if you fellers ever heard of John Coulter. I knowed him. He was an awful strong feller. He could run like the wind. And that's one of the stories I could tell you about when he was called the Coulter's Run. He had a hard time with them Blackfeet engine. That's when they done him in. Well, they didn't do him in, but they trained him. And I could tell you about that. I could also tell you about another place that old John seen. It was called, we called it Coulter's Hell. He went up there on the Shoshone River, found a place where there was bubbling gas coming up out of the ground. He claimed he'd seen places over there that had water coming up out of the ground hundreds of feet, holes in the ground roaring noises. There was smell coming out of it. He said it smelled just like hell, that Satan was there himself. We got to call it Coulter's Hell. They say that out there that them young fellers today call Coulter's Hell Yellowstone National Park. I couldn't believe that because it was a hellacious place as I eventually got out there and seen it. And I can tell you more about Coulter's Hell here in just a moment there, if you are patient with me. Tune in next week for more tales from the Archway's own mountain man, Stephen Meek. Learn more about Pioneer Life. Look for these books in your local library. Mountain Men, True Grit and Tall Tales by Andrew Glass, and Sitting Bull, Lakota Warrior and Defender of His People by S.D. Nelson. Be sure to follow The Archway's Facebook page and check back next week for another episode of Wagon Train Wednesdays.